Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can install FS Cloud so that multiple simulators can sim together. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. FS Cloud is basically a software that shares the simulator's positions with each other so that multiple simulator programs like FSX and X-Plane can play together. You can start by simply going to FS Cloud on Google, uh, search it, and then click the top one. You can go scroll down to the top FS Cloud software and download it. This is the software itself. If you need, if you use Xplane 11, you will use the plugin. I'll tell you how to do that at the end of the video. Uh, so just click FS Cloud Setup and it'll run it through. It'll run through it with you. So click Yes and then run through the installer. Click Next and then this will tell you where it installs. I'm going to make it install in a different place. This will tell you where the FS Cloud folder will go. Uh, I'll just throw it in documents for now and I can move it around later. And then you can name the folder. And then I'm going to create a desktop icon. And, let's see, yep, it's ready to install, so you can click Install. And now I'll launch FS Cloud. Now it'll pop up with this box, uh, so you put your nickname and your call sign, so people know uh, what to, or who to, who's there. So you can go Captain Bob, and then my call, scene, call sign is Charlie. Uh, Romeo Alpha Sierra Sierra Hotel. So proceed, and now it's loading. My plat it says that my platform is FSX because that's what's loaded. Uh, if you want another one, or if you want X Plane 11, then you could load that with the plugin. Okay, now it's telling me that the firewall has blocked some of the features we will allow this and now uh, you can see other people as a test I will move my aircraft to San Francisco because there are a few people uh, working there okay so let's go to airport uh, K S F O San Francisco not you uh, let's go to J small 18 I think is okay so now you can see I'm right there in San Francisco so theoretically you should see these other people so right there they are if you ever see them moving I think they're just waiting till I get out of the airport they will reflect it on the map and in fact if I start moving here, yeah, like I am now, you will see my position reflected on the map. See, it is updated every, I think, like five seconds. Uh, and now you can see me. Uh, maybe like five or ten. So it's not real time, but it is close enough to get the general idea of where you're going. Uh, which is where I should not be going actually, so let's stop. Okay. That's super cool if you have FSX, but if you have X-Plane, I'll tell you how to do... Oh. But if you have X-Plane, I'll show you how to do this in a moment. Before I go on to the X-Plane plugin, I'd like to give you a little bit of information about my sticker giveaway. 
So if you fill out the survey in the link in the description below, you will win a chance to earn a Captain Bob sticker. So I'll be giving one of these away. The survey is just about ways I could improve my channel and some other information that would be good to know to help Captain Bob grow. Okay, I'm done now. You will need the plugin to have FS Cloud work with the other simulators. So, back at fscloud.net, scroll down to FS Cloud plugin for X-Plane 11 and you can download it and the top one is an installer and then the bottom one is not an installer so this one is more manual basically so you can click here and then uh, unzip the folder Now you can open X-Plane 11, and to help with this process, uh, you can change your X-Plane to uh, a windowed simulator, just so you can have multiple windows open. Uh, so just go from full screen simulator to windowed simulator, and this will help you a little bit with the uh, moving around uh, your simulator window. So now, go into where you downloaded the plugin, and then click it, and go to the installer. You can also open this installation.txt file, uh, that'll help you a little with the process. Yeah, first step, we already started X-Plane, uh, we started this, and so now we are going to download the CLS. Uh, it will take about a gigabyte gigabyte of data, so uh, you'll want to be mindful of that. Um, so yeah, this will just, I guess in a way, download the files for the airplanes. Note that this step will take a long time, so you will want to find something productive to do. So now that this loaded, let's hit the proceed button, uh, and then let's let, let X-Plane Installer do its thing. Nasty, but recommended. Okay, so now you can close your X-Plane 11. I know it took you a probably a long time to load, like it did me. Sorry about that. Uh, you just need it to, in initially, to get the files over. So, but now you want it to, to be closed to import the files. So, close, and let's go. I don't think this is required, but I'm doing it just so the files don't uh, get corrupt. And now it's going. Just kidding, it's not. So now in your XPL folder, uh, you can go to the All Planes X text. I think it, yeah, I just made this. And now you can go to uh, copy it into your FS Cloud folder. Now this is basically the last step. So let's go to FS FS Cloud. So now I will load Xplane 11. So now I have Xplane 11 working. And I'm going to go open FS Cloud. There we go. Uh, it should say my platform is Xplane. Now that I'm loading Xplane, uh, but I'm not quite sure. Yes, that is a good sign. It, you'll notice that it used to say FSX. That's its uh, default. If you have X FSX in installed, uh, I think so. Uh, now we can go, er, I, I didn't mean you go, okay, there we go. So now let's, so it brought this up, uh, you already put your CLS models, so click re proceed, and it'll just load them. 
So it appears it is now working. Let's cross our fingers. So now, if I start the simulator, uh, let's go new flight and start the simulator. Now uh, let's see. SFO. Okay. So we have our X plane working right here. And now we can go to our FS cloud and open it. Open Sesame. Click yes. We accept. Why did I spell Captain Bob wrong? I before A. No. Cap Dian. Cap Dan. So now if we go to map. Oh, that's so spelled wrong. And go to San Francisco's airport. Oh, 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 oh. You'll find me on the active runway. And you'll find Gaming Dad right there. You can also see that if I move in the simulator, you can now see that the uh, values here are reflected here. And right now I'm actually in the air uh, by a foot or two. So that's reflecting here as well. So this is all working. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to also check out some of my other videos. They have I have other videos such as uh, making the throttle quadrant for the Cessna. I'm eventually going to make a yoke, uh, things like that. And make sure to like and subscribe. Have a fantabulous day, and I'll see you in the next video.